Welcome to Bikini Bottom, a normally peaceful undersea sanctuary. Today it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror, wherein our little yellow friend will play the starring role. Today's the big day. I have devised an ingenious plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty formula. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well. <laughs> With my brand new Duplicatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command. One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one, is Plankton a genius? Answer, yes! Okay, checklist complete. Throw in the switch! <laughs> Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army. Hang on, I want to get a photo for my scrap. Oh, hey, hello? What do you think you're doing? You. No! No! Oh, my good China! Ah! Another perfect day playing robots and racehorses. Yeah, only I keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great if we had real robots to play with, Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Jr. or Zorlon or maybe Frankie. Yeah, these unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how shellfish of you. <laughs> it's not just any shell. It's my magic wishing shell. Patrick. So we put the toy robots in here. Okay. Then we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing shell. Okay. Then we go to sleep, and in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with. But Patrick, aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did. So, okay is the magic wishing word? It used to be Alakazama Alabala Wisna Tikitana Fushbar Griddle Bits Von Wiedeschnauzer, but I kept forgetting it. Are you sure this will work? Sure. Last week, I only had one big cookie crumb and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell, then I said the magic wishing word and shook it, and in the morning, I had lots of little cookie crumbs. Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best day ever. Good night, SpongeBob. Good night, Patrick. The next morning... <laughs> gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with... Wow! Uh, Gary, did you do that? Yeah, Gary. It sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. Meow. What a fantastic idea! These signs will provide important tips to help me out. Um, how do I read the signs? Meow. Oh, okay. Press this button to read the signs. Hmm. Meow. So if I want to come back and talk to you again, just walk up to you and press this button. I'd better get started now, Gary. I think that this is going to be a very long day. I make myself a snack. Make 
myself a snack. But there's no time! Cha-ching! I'd make myself a snack. But there's no time! Maybe a little bounce on the old bed. where I keep all my old comic books. Keep all my old comic books. Maybe a little bounce on the old bed. Ah, there's nothing like the sounds of your own neighborhood. Hey, SpongeBob, you're polluting my thinking space. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. Not for me, though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. They even bent all my spoons. I love those spoons like they were my children. That's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them? Before they bend all my forks? Not the forks! Of course I'll help. But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you could get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas. In your dreams. You've got a deal. Hey, SpongeBob! I just dropped by to give you a bubble hand. Bubble buddy. You see, you're going to need to learn some new bubble blowing moves if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension and defeat the giant monkey man. But uh, all I need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. Uh, where were we? Uh, something about new bubble moves. Right! Press this button and you'll launch yourself straight up in the air with bubble power that defeats anything that is directly above you! Try it! Hey! 
Hey, Patrick. Nice sock. What sock? The uh, one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Oh, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. I could use some help getting them back. Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends for? Okay, then. For every ten socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden turkey baster. You mean spatula? Bless you. But Crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. No money means no more Krusty Krab. No more Krusty Krab means no more fry cooking for you. No more fry cooking? But because you're gullible, I'm going to help you out. And of course make a small profit in return. I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. jellyfish fields, a place to experience nature at its most raw, and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. Okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy. And oh my gosh, you're bald! I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King j -j Jellyfish! Well, I guess you're off to scale Sport Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here, balled up here in excruciating pain. You do that! Don't worry, Squidward. I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself.
jellyfish today. I'm going fishing for robots. Itch. A new sponge. met the Sponginator. Shaken. Wow. 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 A bungee jump for a golden spatula. I must be in heaven.
opening presents. Fresh like a spring breeze. and toys and mail. Uh, huh? W what? Oh, yeah, it's that sponge kid. And now, what was I supposed to tell you? That Patrick is surrounded by robots and needs my help. Huh? Oh, no. I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. Well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage I must. Help! They're making me hit myself! Massaging your feet isn't working. I think I'd better try a more direct approach. By clipping my toenails? Here I come, Patrick! do it again sometime. Hey, you. Patrick needs to do laundry.
feel like a new sponge. SpongeBob. Whew. Thank goodness you're safe, Patrick. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't I be? Well, the robot and the... Oh, yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is, but it looks important. Thanks, Patrick. I tell you what, all that running around has left me pooped. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Okay. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. goes boom. Hey, you barnacle head! Watch where you're going! The rock is talking to me. Almighty rock, I am at your command! Down here! You big pink lummox! Oh, hi there, Mr. Plankton. Are you going to vaporize me today? So very tempting. Unfortunately, I found myself in the undesirable position of having to assist you. I was in an undesirable position yesterday, and now my neck hurts. Heed my words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. Well, then will you vaporize me? I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop, making low-quality design and knockoff wallets. Oh, thank you.
That's much better. Bob's underwear fits quite right. SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. You're looking for the king jellyfish. Yes. Good thing, too. That monster has been stinging all my good customers in their poop decks. I hear that you can find him up top of Old Sport Mountain here. Go hook that beast, sailor. Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. Ooh, a present in every one. Whoa! 
Can we get ice cream now? Mrs. Puff. Hello, Patrick. I've got a job for you to do. Oh, boy. I found a golden spatula, but those robots out on the island stole it and threw it into the lake. If you can figure out how to get it back, you're welcome to it. Sure enough, Mrs. Puff. My back feels better. Just met the Sponginator. You pretty cat, take it! I love opening presents. Just my side!
like a spring breeze. I feel like a new sponge. like a spring breeze. Like a new sponge. Fresh like a spring breeze. Feel like a new sponge.
like a new sponge. like a spring breeze. Everyone is trying to help out today. Step quietly there. That king jellyfish is just up at the top of this path. Good luck. You'll need it. Thanks, Bubble Buddy. I knew the King Jellyfish was big, but who knew he had such a beautiful voice? <laughs>
a new sponge. presents. It looks like you'll have to make a huge jump at the end of that ramp in order to reach that golden spatula, huh? Cowabunga! Wow, that's a mighty big leap. I hope I can make it. Yeah. <laughs> 
Feel so much better. Anything for my best friend Squidward. Can I rub some on? Uh, what if I just gave you this? Do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? That's quality craftsmanship, that is. Come again. What are you waiting for, SpongeBob? Show those robots who's boss. Me. Downtown Bikini Bottom, once a bustling metropolis, now a debris-covered crater. SpongeBob, the robots are destroying downtown Bikini Bottom. We have to evacuate! All right, but it's gonna take a while to get all this dust. Not vacuum, evacuate! We have to get everyone to safety. Can we just load them up in the boats? That won't do any good. Why not? Because the robots have taken all the steering wheels. Couldn't we just drive in a straight line? No, there are too many turns. Those fiends, they thought of everything. Never fear, Mrs. Puff, I'll get those steering wheels back. SpongeBob, if you're involved, I always fear. But I tell you what. If you can pull this off, I'll give you a golden spatula. How about a driver's license instead? Nice try. like a spring breeze. Come, 
Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push. Just met the Spongenators. Like a new spot. Bringing it! 
around town. Bringing it around town. Around town. This door is locked from the inside. Who would do such a thing? Another find for Patrick. Roll, 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 this one. Hi, Gary. Meow. Yes, thanks for noticing. I have been working out. Meow. Not done. Doesn't that mean... Meow. Oh, that's the entrance to the rooftops, which leads to the lighthouse? Aha, uh -huh. there's another golden spatula. I could really use that. Meow. Get Sandy to help me. I can get through this. Meow, meow. Oh, that gap looks big. Okay, I'm definitely not making that jump. How is anyone going to get across there? Uh-oh, more robots. Oh, 
ugly Dutchman's ghost. That gap looks impossible. And impassable! Okay, okay. I'll go get Sandy to help me out.
Patrick happy. Sandy! Boy, am I glad to see you. I need your help. My TV reception has been terrible lately. I need to have someone replace my old antenna with this shiny new one. Yes, sir. That there antenna is shinier than a $3 bill. Well, why don't you replace it yourself? I'm not really much of a jumper. So, what's jumping got to do with it? Because the old antenna is up there. Woo! That's taller than a glass of Texas ice. The robots have blocked off that building, and I can't do all those fancy moves you and SpongeBob do to get across these gaps. All I can do is flex! Wanna see? Yeah, great. Uh, so what are you gonna do with the old antenna? Oh, that? It's yours if you replace it with a new one. Well, I have been getting bad TV reception in the tree dome. Okay, Larry, you got a deal.
the shinier, the better.
Robot's underwear.
like a spring breeze. Feel like a new sponge. Like a spring breeze. Feel like a new sponge. Like a spring breeze. needs to do laundry. Hey there, SpongeBob! Bubba Buddy!
for Purdy?
Someone better make good use of all these. You are, boy. Someone's broken the sea needle. That's horrible. The sea needle is the cradle of Crochet Corner. Yes, yes it is. But what's more important is that there are tiki's and shiny objects just outside the windows. Mr. Krabs, how can you think of money at a time like this? Easy. I just clear my mind. Money, money, money. Now listen here, boy. You know that I'll give you golden spatulas if you bring me shiny objects. But I'm going to sweeten the deal. If you can break all the tiki's here at the Sea Needle, I'll give you a bonus golden spatula. Why would I want to break the tiki's, Mr. Krabs? Uh, because they were laughing at you and calling you funny names. What kind of funny names? Um, you know, SpongeBob butt pants. That's not very funny. Uh, no. But they said your mom was ugly. Ugly? All right, Mr. Krabs, break to my cell. You've got a deal. like antfish from up here.
everyone looks like ant fish from up here. You've just met the Spongenator. Tartar sauce! Storer! I feel like a new sponge! all the tiki's and for your troubles I'll give you a golden spatula Boing, 
Everyone looks like ant fish from up here.
Good work, boy. Here's the golden spatula, like I promised. Like a new sponge. Up for a game of SpongeBob? Fresh like a spring breeze. SpongeBob, <laughs> I'm impressed. How did you fight? Well, there were these robots. I met Sandy, and the lighthouse was... Okay, okay. Sorry I asked. Here's the golden spatula that I promised you. Thanks, Mrs. Puff. Now I'll help you guys evacuate. But, SpongeBob, you don't have a driver's license. Oh, don't I? No, no you don't. Well, if I don't, then what's this? A library card. Oh... There's more golden spatulas in the deep blue sea. Be on the lookout. Texas. Nothing like a bit of roping to get the heart pumping. 
open. Ah! Ew. I can't believe I'm wearing SpongeBob's underwear. If it isn't Sandy Cheeks. Howdy, Mrs. Puff.
it feel like a new sponge? Roll, roll, roll the sponge. You found some! Now they're back home, safe where they belong. Here's your golden back scratcher. Spatula. I don't speak Italian. Lagoon, a sun-drenched beach of sludge at the bottom of the sea. But all is not well here on Paradise. Like a spring bridge. SpongeBob, do I look burned? Well, you do look a little red. Barnacles! That darn robot. Robot? Yeah, a big robot stole everybody's sunscreen. Oh no! Everyone will burn, and then they'll get all itchy and peel. Exactly! You can't spend a day at the beach without sunscreen. That sun is way too hot. That robot is out on the island. Nobody can get to him. SpongeBob, maybe you can use those sun reflectors to point the sun's rays on that robot. If you hit one of the buttons on the side of a lifeguard tower, the reflector will turn. Connect all the towers and the light will shoot right out of the big reflector on the island. Then all you have to do is swim out to the island and turn the big reflector onto the robot. I'll stay here <laughs> and protect the babes. But I uh, can't swim. Pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push.
Sponginator. Children's balloons have been overfilled. They're carrying the children out of control. I don't know, Mrs. Puff. It looks like they're having a lot of fun. Yes, too much fun, if you ask me. You can save the children by bubble bashing each of the balloons. Bubble bash all the balloons, then come see me for a reward. Can do, Mrs. Puff. hunt three years running uh, thank you
it shines. My hero, you've saved the children. <laughs> Here's a golden spatula as a reward. SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. You gotta carry a lot of stuff around.
this all? I thought it was gonna be an ice cream place. Much better. a whistle. Sponges Bob, I will not let Bikini Bottom down. Uh oh, I can't swim!
SpongeBob, I heard that you were collecting golden spatulas. Yes, Bubble Buddy, I am. Have you seen one? Why, yes. We were having a sandcastle contest, and somebody put a golden spatula on the top. If I had a castle, I'd name it Fort Patty Town the Third, and Fort Patty Town the Third would have a big bake sale every Monday. Um, the golden spatula? Oh, at the top of the sandcastle, right. That should be easy to reach. Well, perhaps you should see for yourself. I love opening presents. Cha -ching! What's new? Ow. You don't say. Squidward bought a new sweater. Oh, he's so crazy. Ow. And there's a golden spatula at the end of this cave. What?
a little shade on a hot day. Push, 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 push.
Sorry, lad, but the carnival is closed. A pesky robot has taken over me ticket booth. And worse, me money. If you help me get rid of that no good robot, I'll give you a big reward. Much better.
get ice cream now.
SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Opening presents. Ka ching I feel like a new sponge.
Please listen. Congratulations, SpongeBob! You're king of the beach! Here, have a golden spatula! That's much better. Just met the Spongenator. Oh, 
sparkly. Uh oh, I can't swim. Fresh like a spring breeze. This one goes boom!
I carry a lot of stuff around. Reward. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. think he needs a hand.
for another fantastic day! Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. It shines! Feel like a new sponge.
So, do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? That's quality craftsmanship, that is. Come again. <laughs> wow, SpongeBob, you found some. Now they're back home, safe where they belong. Here's your golden back scratcher. Spatula. I don't speak Italian. <laughs> so, do you want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? That's quality craftsmanship, that is. Come again. to face a great challenge. I've got nerves of steel and muscles of sand. And eyes of jelly. My Poseidon has been breached by a mighty foe whom you must vanquish. Bring it on, your highness. Bring it on. In this corner, defending the Poseidon, a small square guy. <laughs> Challenger! A huge murderous robot shaped like a squirrel! Look, it's a giraffe! Uh, I think I need to get home to feed Gary. Ow! I guess SpongeBob won't be winning Fresh that way! like a spring breeze! Looks like the robot's left itself vulnerable! I guess SpongeBob won't be winning that way. I feel like a new sponge. Looks like the robots left itself vulnerable. Great Barrier Reef. Looks like the robots left itself vulnerable. Now the robots taking a beating out there. SpongeBob has an opening, but will he get the drop on the robot? I wanna play, I wanna play! 
it that we're not playing. We're fighting for our lives! I want to play! I want to play! Oh, all right. Ouch. Patrick's just getting too close to that metal monster. I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Spelling! The old clothesline move! The robot's losing its head! What a shocking takedown by Patrick! Losing its head. Oh, nice flying uh, head thing move by Patrick. The robot's losing its head. Wow! I've never seen such an electrifying oh, match! Fun. Your turn, SpongeBob! Oh? Ah. Uh, we. Spelling! The old clothesline move! Let's see if SpongeBob goes for it! Nice move by SpongeBob! This match is just about over! golden spatula, and that's not all. A gift certificate for $5.32 to Dean's Little Shop of Dried Fish Flakes and Flowers. Oh, thank you. It all means so much. I... I... I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Cry all you want, but not here. We just wax the floors. Hey, Plankton. Yes, what is it? I was just wondering why all the robots seem to be coming from inside the chum bucket. Have they? I really haven't noticed. Uh, yeah. And then there's that big flashing neon sign that says, Robot Headquarters. SpongeBob, I'm your friend, right? No, not really. Exactly, and as your non-friend, I worry about you. Like right now, you're thinking too much. I'm worried you might really hurt yourself. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna think for you. This way, you won't hurt yourself, and you can just keep working on getting me into the chum bucket. Thanks, Plankton. You're the best non-friend a friend could have. No more thinking for me. Let 
me teach you how to bowl a bubble. Press this button and you'll bowl a bubble that can knock down robots from a safe distance. Wow! Remember though, the bubble bowl only works on things that are close to the ground. Got it. My heroes! Hit me with a water ball! Hit me, hit me, hit me! Yeah, we don't do that stuff anymore, kid. We're retired. Is that the TV repairman? No, it's that excited sponge kid again. Oh! Uh, are you sure he can't fix the TV? Mermaid Man, twould be my greatest honor to fix your television. Could be! Hey, sponge kid. You really want to help out? No oh boy, would I? Okay then. Uh, but lighten up a bit on the enthusiasm, huh? Uh, you're making my bowels act up. Uh, we've got a little problem with some robots down in the Mermelair. Are you sure you're up to this task? Absolutely, Barnacle Boy. Well, go over to the couch to access the Mermelair. We'll meet you down there. Is it pudding night yet? Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. Opening presents.
Bubble bowling is an important skill to master. I won't forget, Bubble Buddy. Daddy, your tree dome is leaking. Them there robots busted up the glass, SpongeBob. I got a treehouse chock full of robots and it's all your fault. So get in there and clean up your mess. You just met the Spongeinator. Ow! Tartar sauce! The horror! Just my sauce! Ow! Stop your yapping and let's. Like a spring breeze. It shines. I feel like a new sponge. All righty then. That's much better. I suppose you'll be needing this more than me. Like a spring breeze. <sighs> There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. Your treasure chest's looking a bit light, boy. Do you think I've got bilge water on the brain? I ain't running a charity here. Come back when you've got enough shiny objects to trade.
sponge wearing five pairs of underwear coming through. I feel like a new sponge. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. Pow! Welcome to the dark depths of Rock Bottom, home of strange creatures and souvenir t-shirts. Bob, I'm actually glad you're here, believe it or not. I'm glad I'm here too, Mrs. Puff. The robots have stolen priceless artwork from the museum. If you can return it all to me, I'll reward you with a golden spatula. Why do you want all that artwork? Don't ask questions you aren't prepared to handle the answer to. Consider the artwork saved, Mrs. Puff. for a little sleepy sneak.
love opening presents. Like a spring breeze. I gotta say, Bubble Buddy, for a bubble, you really get around. SpongeBob, the robots are plundering Rock Bottom's museum, but they've broken the roadway leading up there. You'll have to be clever and find another route to get in. What if I lick all these stamps and mail myself? Could work, but perhaps being sneaky would be faster. Feel like a new sponge. like a spring breeze. like a new spot. Nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like...
Rollerific. Better make good use of all these.
can't believe I'm wearing SpongeBob's underwear. Well, I suppose it'll make Patrick happy. land critter. Please.
not as good as Texas barbecue sauce.
about as good as Texas barbecue sauce. Black people messing with Texas. Okay, that's better. Well, that's all for Purdy. Ew, can't believe I'm wearing SpongeBob's underwear. Are you on patrol down here? No, this is my second job. I, I work security. Now listen, if you want to reach the Golden Spatula, you need to shut off the museum's security system. Do you have to iron those pants or are they wrinkle-free? Unlike you. Pay attention, kid. This is serious stuff. Now, if we don't get this robot thing resolved, Shady Shoals will shut down and I'll have to move back in with my son and his wife and his four screaming kids. Now, you see that vent on the other side of the museum? Yes, sir! That's where you exit the museum. Good luck, kid. I won't let you down, Barnacle Boy. for a little sleepy sneak.
fresh like a spring breeze. Do laundry. Just my size. Like a spring breeze. You just met the Sponginator. A new sponge. Fresh like a spring breeze.
Feel like a new sponge. Fresh like a spring breeze. A new sponge. Thank <laughs> you. 
long as these pants are square and this sponge is Bob, I will not let Bikini Bottom down. I love opening presents. an awful long walk, aren't ya? Meow. The trench of advanced darkness, huh? Sounds dark. Okay, Gary, I'll be extra, extra, extra careful. Boing! 
Plankton. You best not be stirring up no trouble. Nonsense. I only want to help. Help crush you all under my rise to power. What was that? Nothing. Say, see those lasers there? You mean them things that look like fancy washing machines? To your puny brain, I suppose. You'll need to turn on each one of those in order to cross the last part of the Trench of Advanced Darkness. This better not be some kind of trick, Varmint.
elbow grease can't handle. for pretty.
Hey, Mr. Krabs, what are you doing? Well, I could have sworn me I saw a golden spatula here a minute ago, but I think it fell down this slide. Down the slide? It might have broken its leg. I've got to save it. Go, boy, go! Save that poor spatula! Last piece of artwork accounted for, Mrs. Puff. I left no strange glowing stone unturned. Well now, nice work, SpongeBob. The museum will finally be able to reopen, and here's your reward. Hello there, Sandy. Hello there, Sandy. Want to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? That's quality craftsmanship, that is. Come again. Bye. <laughs> 
love opening presents. Ow! Sand Mountain, where sea creatures go to enjoy an afternoon of falling down. Squidward, am I glad you're here. I need to borrow your toothbrush again. What? You've used it before? Oh, yeah, lots of times. I figured if you didn't know, you wouldn't mind. Fine. What do I care? I'm a wreck anyways. I try and get some exercise to relax from all this robot mess, and now everything is ruined. Because of a toothbrush? No, it's those blasted robots! They've taken over the ski slopes! How can I ski with those ugly things beating everyone up? Listen, SpongeBob, you've gotta help me! I'm gonna lose my marbles if I don't get some relaxation! I found if you keep your marbles in a bag, they don't get lost as often. In fact, I've got mine right here. It's embroidered with this lovely... Forget the marbles! I've got a better idea. If you get rid of the robots at the bottom of every slope for me, I'll give you one of those golden spatulas. Well, I don't know. It's hard to beat the extreme fun of marbles. Okay, okay, I'll give you one for each slope you clear. Now that's a deal! Just my hill a hundred times, usually rolling. Darn kids think it's funny to push me, but if you can beat my time down the hill, I'll give you a golden spatula. SpongeBob, it's your birthday. I've gone down this hill a hundred. Met the Sponginator. I've gone down. I 
lab opening presents. Needs to do laundry. Another fine for Patrick. Hill a hundred times. Time for a little sleepy snake. A new sponge. with flying colors.
shines. I fly like the wind and float like a sea bee. If you can beat my time down the hill, I'll give you a golden spatula. Fresh like a spring breeze. Like a new sponge. Ouch! 
fish sticks. I flop. Like a spring breeze. Bam! Ow! I feel like a new sponge. Like a spring breeze. Just met the Sponginator. Like a new sponge. Like a spring breeze. I feel like a new sponge. Fresh like a spring breeze.
shines. like a new sponge. I fly like the w I'm the fastest there is. My time down this slope is unbeatable. I'll give you a golden spatula if you can beat my time. I feel like a new sponge.
the fastest there is. As long as these pants are square and this sponge is Bob, I I'm the fastest. Just met the Sponginator. Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. I'm the fastest. I'm the fastest th I love opening presents. Needs to do laundry. Pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. <laughs> Congratulations, SpongeBob. You beat my best time. Here's a spatula.
<laughs> Thank Neptune, you did it! Now I can go get my equipment and ski in peace. Actually, I think that Patrick borrowed your equipment. What? Who said he could do that? I did. I figured if you didn't know, you wouldn't mind. Again. Wouldn't mind? Of course I mind! It's only the most expensive skiing equipment you can buy! And what does Patrick want with that stuff anyway? He doesn't even know how to ski. I want the warm now! My most favorite friend in the whole world. I found another golden spatula for you. Oh boy! Can I have it? Sure, if you fall down to the bottom of this pit. Isn't there a safer way? It's always safety with you people. Hmm, I suppose you could bungee down. Keep 
up the good work, buddy of mine. And don't forget to help me out with the chum bucket. Opening presents. Fresh like a spring breeze. Like a new sponge. Go get my equipment and stay in peace. Actually, I think that Patrick borrowed your equipment. What? Who said he could do that? I did. I figured if you didn't know, you wouldn't mind. Again. Wouldn't mind? Of course I mind. It's only the most expensive skiing equipment you can buy. And what does Patrick want with that stuff anyway? He doesn't even know how to ski. I want the worm now. What should we do? 
Well, we better figure something out. And pronto. Maybe that button on his back is a self-destruct. I'll try to hit it. Good idea, SpongeBob. But it's time to stop yapping and get to it. Yikes! Looks like SpongeBob's in for a rough ride. Great Barrier Reef! Look at that! The robot's made himself dizzy! The robot better change tactics and fast! Do si do and around you go! Oh, and the robot is down! Now the robot's taking a beating out there! Great Barrier Reef! Oh, and the robot is down! What is Sandy going to do to get SpongeBob unfrozen? <laughs> do si do and around you go! Oh! Close encounters of the painful kind! Do si do and around you go! Oh, and the robot is down! Look at that hang time! Great Barrier Reef! Great Barrier Reef! Okay, that's better. Oh, and the robot is down! But better change tactics and fast. That hot goo could melt anything. Do si do and around you go. Look at that hang time. Oh, and the robot is down. Great Barrier Reef! Oh, and the robot is down! The robot better change tactics and fast! One more douse with that stuff, and SpongeBob Ew. will be back in the I'm ring. Wearing SpongeBob's underwear. Great Barrier Reef! Oh, that was a doozy! Great Barrier Reef! Oh, that's got a sting! Great Barrier Reef! Oh, and the robot is down! SpongeBob is back in the fight! Do si do and around you go! Ooh! Close encounters of the painful kind! Do si do and around you go! It's time.
time to roll out some robot punishment. That does it. SpongeBob is back in the fight. SpongeBob better stay far away from the robot's cold clutches. Great Barrier Reef! I see a prime bowling moment right here! Great Barrier Reef! I see a prime bowling moment right here! And the robot is down! SpongeBob better stay far away from the robot's cold clutches! Dosey do and around you go! I see a prime bowling moment right here! That's the ticket! Great Barrier Reef! I see a prime bowling moment right here! Thanks for saving me, guys! I never thought I'd say this, SpongeBob, but I owe you big time. Thanks, Sandy. We'd still be popsicles if it wasn't for her. Aw, shucks. You fellers are gonna make me blush. I think I have fudge in my pants. I'm sorry, Plankton. The Chum Bucket Lab is locked up tight. I don't know if I'll ever get enough golden spatulas to get in. Yes, it's the Chum Bucket Security System. I designed it myself. It makes me so proud. It was meant to keep out the hateful throngs of the unwashed. Unfortunately, I never figured I'd be on this side of it. So what are you gonna do, Plankton? We, of course, meaning you, we're gonna have to go out there and get those golden spatulas! Or I'll never get back into the chum bucket and regain control of my robots. What was that? Oh, uh, <clears throat> I said, will I ever get back into the chum bucket to stain all my pots? Hmm, something's fishy here. What's wrong, Mr. Krabs? You don't look so good. You gotta help me, boy. The Krusty Krabs been overrun by a bunch of them hoodlum robots of yours. They've booted me out! And worse, they've got all me beautiful shiny objects! Defiling the Krusty Krab? Is there no end to their evil? What are we going to do, Mr. Krabs? We, meaning you, are going to clear the robots out, get me back me restaurant, and most importantly, rescue me money! Bubble Buddy, I bet the next move you teach me will be the best one ever. Absolutely, SpongeBob! Super Pinky Shake on it? I would if I had pinkies. Here, I'll blow you some. Yeah, maybe later. Now, pay attention, SpongeBob. This bubble's a doozy! Paying my entire salary in attention. When you're not moving, press this button, and you'll blow a bubble that you can steer as it flies through the air. Wow! Aim carefully, though. You've only got a few seconds of flight time before the bubble pops. I'm a bubble-blowing machine. Say hello to my little bubble friend.
love opening presents. SpongeBob, you found some! Now they're back home, safe where they belong! Here's your golden back scratcher! Spatula! I don't speak Italian. <laughs> did you find my lost socks? Not yet, Patrick. Oh, did they find you? is robot free. Control the launch is a go. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Sponge. Fresh like a spring breeze. Thank <laughs> you. 
SpongeBob to Mission Control. Go on to the go. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. You shouldn't sneak up on Mermaid Man like that. His heart's not so good. Come to think of it, nothing on him is that good anymore. Sorry, Mermaid Man. It's just that I'm always so excited to see you two. Standing in your awesome presence gives me the chills of justice. See? I've got goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my goosebumps on my... All right, kid. Knock it off. Just tell us what you want. Well, I really want a new pair of sunglasses. Patrick sat on my old ones. That's not what I meant. <sighs> Actually, it's a good thing you showed up, young sponge of goodness. It is? It is? Yes, a bunch of evil robots have taken over the Mermelair security system. It's up to you to shut it down and stop them. Well, why him? We're perfectly capable superheroes. Because it's Thursday, and we have a whole bunch of doctor's appointments. Ah, fish sticks. I forgot. Go talk to the Mermelair computer in the next room. She'll tell you what to do. I accept this awesome responsibility, Mermaid Man. You won't be disappointed. Shamed, maybe, but not disappointed. To the doctor's office! Away! I love opening presents. It's not just any sponge, it's Super Sponge, soaking up crime. It shines! like a new sponge.
Say hello to my little bubble friend. Nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. Audrey. The Mermelair, secret fortress of the wrinkly superheroes Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Squidward, am I happy to see you? And not just the kind of happy you feel in the front of your knees, but the kind of happy you feel in the back of your elbow. Oh, you'll never believe what's been happening. Yeah, yeah, I've already been briefed by the geriatric duo. Those two old coots sent me in to get updated with the Mermelair computer. But since you're here now, I'll let you do it. It's right over there. Oh, look at this place. I mean, police. Would it kill them to lay down a few throw rugs? And all this wasted space? How did those two old fogies make all this? 
Oh, that's easy. In episode 27, the Mermelair is invaded by the digging monsters of Bermuda, and they... Never mind! You're my hero. Hey, you're yellow. When did that happen? who can throw things! Leave it to us. I'm great at throwing things. All you have to do is pick up a throw fruit and throw it into each of those funnel machines. Throw, throw oh, the throw fruit? No, throw the throw fruit. Throw the tofu. You might want to be quick about it. I tend to explode. I mean, they tend to explode! What just happened? Ouch! That's much better. Sure gotta carry a lot of stuff around. Hey, I know you! You're that guy! Hmm. I'm gonna need a lot more power to activate the hydroacoustic Doppler modulator. Do you think you can handle this? I can see Squidward's house from up here. And he's now listen up. There are eight cylinders over there. If you throw something at the cylinders, it'll turn around to the power side. 
Turn all eight cylinders around to the power side and I'll give you a reward. Sorry, what was that? I was watching Squidward. Just start turning those cylinders. This does. Ah, well done. Now there's enough power. What do you need all that power for? Why, my foot bath, of course. Here, have a golden spatula. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Sparkly thing.
what? Feel like a new sponge. Opening presents. Coming at ya! There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. Thank <laughs> you. 
Just met the Spongenator. For me to regain control of the security system, you need to press all the override buttons spread throughout the Mermelair. The first one is here. Press the button! Got it! When you have pressed them all, you should return here to press the master shutdown button. You will be rewarded. Return here! Got it! Are you listening to me? Listening! Got it! I see you've made your way down to the deepest recesses of the Mermelair. Wow. Oh, you took the elevator. Oh, how do I get to the top of this room? Wow. You're right. I bet those tunnels will take me up to the top. Good thinking, Gary. Bob, 
control the launch is a go. A new sponge.
Fighter Toss. Say hello to my little bubble friend. under that glass. Gold, I say! My eyes are getting sweaty just looking at it. All you have to do is get that great big ball into that there cup. How do I get the ball rolling, Mr. Krabs? You start the process by bubble bowling up this ramp to hit that button. Good luck, SpongeBob. My wallet's counting on you. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like victory. In order for the ball to reach the end, you'll have to move the pieces of machinery along the track.
to my little bubble friend. There's nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like... Nature. Met the Sponginator.
Boy, Patrick will be glad to have this back. Well done, SpongeBob. Now, how's about giving old Mr. Krabs that shiny gold? I'll give you a promotion. A promotion? Sure. You'll get a whole extra ten seconds added to your break time. Woo! Twenty second break. Do I dare? Uh, no, I'm sorry, Mr. Krabs. As enticing as that sounds, I can't give this to you. I need every golden spatula I can get. I understand, boy. I'll just dock 30 seconds from your break time instead. Whoa! That means I have a negative 20-second break. Oh, thanks, Mr. Krabs. Fresh like a spring breeze. SpongeBob, how do I get out of here? Well, that depends. Do you want the booby-trapped or the non-booby-trapped eggs? Non-booby-trapped, please. Then go that way. <laughs> or maybe it was that way.
Go see the computer in the next... Regain control of the security system. Here is the reward I promised you. You have pressed all the security buttons. Now press the master shutdown button. like the smell of bubbles in the morning. <laughs> Smells like... Victory. <laughs> now, how to get some bath salt? goes boom. Ouch!
ice cream now. security system has been shut down, and we got a good checkup. Hooray for justice in all its multi-splendor glory! Yeah, well, Justice Boy, you also cut the power to the Mermelayer's BCS. That's Villain Containment System. Is that bad? Does Mermaid Man smell like sour milk? Yes! Yes, I do! Oh, no. It looks like one of the villains has broken free. What's that? An evil doer on the loose? Who is it? Man Ray? The atomic flounder? The dirty bubble? No, worse than that. He's your arch enemy. Prawn. Prawn! Did someone call? Oh, I thought maybe I was looking at superheroes. But now I see it's just a couple of pieces of now driftwood. <sighs> Prawn! I'll never forgive you, you madman! What did Prawn do? The worst thing you can imagine. He put all of Mermaid Man's white clothes in the washer with a red sock. Everything I own turned pink. Pink! How horrible! Personally, I thought pink made you very pretty. Really? Sure, pretty stupid. <laughs> Yikes. What is that yellow thing? Some kind of mold? I'm not mold, I'm a sponge. There's a cellular difference. A cellular difference! Yeah, yeah, thanks for the lesson, Dr. Science. See you later, Pinky. By the seven seas, Prawn, I shall not rest until you are captured. But first, I shall have to change from my secret identity into Mermaid Man. You don't have a secret identity, you old coot. Maybe you better take care of Prawn while I take care of this. I shall avenge you, Mermaid Man! Ow! I feel like a new sponge! like a spring breeze.
feel like a new sponge. Another golden spatula. Thank you, Mermaid Man. I shall always live my life by your shining example. Let goodness and kindness... Are you still here? <laughs> Fresh like a spring breeze. Sports. I love opening presents. Roll, roll, roll the sponge. I should be working. Time for a little sleepy sneak. Oh, sparkling. You've just met the sponginator. Fresh like 
flash like a spring breeze. I love opening presents. Like a new sponge. Me worried there for a bit, boy. Worried for me money, of course. Here, take this as your reward. serve food here, yes, but they don't serve love. Flash! Authorities have confirmed that the robots running amok through Bikini Bottom are indeed coming from the Chum Bucket. Yes, right where you're standing. Plankton, owner of the Chum Bucket, and best known for the creation of robots whose sole purpose is to cause mayhem and destruction, has denied any involvement. And then stop on your children! And stop on your children's children! This has been a Bikini Bottom News Flash! Coming at ya! to trade shiny objects for a golden spatula? That's quality craftsmanship, that is. Come again.
fresh like a spring breeze. Here we are in the kelp forest, an interesting area with many sights to see, for those that don't get hopelessly lost first. Mrs. Puff, driving class isn't out here today, is it? Uh, no, SpongeBob. Wh why do you say that? Do you think we'd have class out here just to hide from you? <laughs> How silly. I'm just, uh, gathering twigs for the winter. Yes, that's it. Oh, can I help? I have a merit badge in twig gathering. Actually, you can help with something else. These robots showed up and scared all the students, I mean, uh, campers, off into the forest. Uh, before the ranger arrives, someone needs to go out and find them. I'll help you find them, Mrs. Puff. I'm the sponge for the job. Thanks, SpongeBob. I'll make sure to give you a nice reward when you've found all of them. to my little bubble friend. Thank <laughs> you. 
feel like a new sponge. like a spring breeze. Nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory.
Like a new sponge. Triplicate!
triplicate! Just met the Spongenator. Hi, Mr. Krabs. SpongeBob, help me find Patrick. I have a task that I think he can help me with. SpongeBob, Commission Control, the launch is a go. Mr. Krabs, what are you doing here? Ahoy, Patrick! I'm trying to return three stone tikis to this pedestal so I can get to the kelp cave across that bridge. There could be customers in there! I saw three tikis scattered around this area, but me old brain couldn't figure out how to get them back up here. Can I try? Sure, why not? I need a good laugh. There's a golden spatula up there for you if you succeed. Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. This one goes boom!
This all? I thought it was gonna be an ice cream place. like a spring breeze.
者Go boo!
carry a lot of stuff around. as a rock. You've just met the Sponginator. Think he needs a hand. Fun job. 
to mission control. The launch is a go. It shines. like a new sponge.
like little bubble friends. the big shiny button.
Again! Again! stuff around. SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right. Particle boy. Uh, <laughs> uh, hi. Um, I need uh, SpongeBob's help if you see him. Okie dokie. Hey, kid, I could really use your help if you had some time to spare. Sure, Barnacle Boy, what do you need? I'm trying to recover my lost energy crystals that power my new secret superhero power. It seems the robots have found my supply and have hidden them in this cave. Secret superhero power? Oh, what to do, what to do, what to do? If I told you, it wouldn't be a secret, would it? Just trust me, it's worth finding these crystals. I'd go search it myself, but my bunions are acting up today. Well, then you rest those super bones of yours. I'll get searching for these crystals.
Cha-ching! Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. like a spring breeze. like a new sponge.
Control, the launch is a go. to carry. stuff around.
Say hello to my little bubble friend. That's much better. Uh, now I'm gonna get all wet.
Barnacle Boy. I think I found all your crystals. Now I can see your secret superpower. All right. Stand back. What happened? I gained the power to trim my nose hairs at super speed. Incredible. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, well, then, uh, I need to return to the Mermelair and get back to work. <laughs> but uh, here, take this golden spatula and go away. Of course, Barnacle Boy. I'm always happy to lend my services to my favorite superhero. If you ever run into trouble again, let me know. Yeah, sure, kid. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and goodbye. Mermaid Man, what are you doing here? Oh, hello, Kyle. I was trying to find some of our missing energy crystals when I came across this vine. In my younger days, I held the all-time speed record for vine sliding. You should try it. What a hoot. And if you can beat my best time, I'll give you another of these gold spatulas. Well, I am a bit busy with all these robots, but sure, why not? It does look like fun. Try not to fall off.
Opening presents. Still haven't beaten but you keep. But you're the greatest- Keep trying, young- But you're the grip. Keep trying, youngster. Kick. Mermaid Man. Wow. Ah, is there? Um, the pudding! Still have a kid.
I guess you could say I had that course flicked. I guess I owe you a reward. Take this golden spatula. Thanks, Mermaid Man. Now. I don't think SpongeBob's underwear fits quite right.
I guess. I guess I. Thanks, mermaid. Hello there, Patrick. Thanks to you, all the campers have safely returned. No problem, Mrs. Puff. Any self-respecting sponge would gladly help. And it was actually fun exploring the kelp forest. 
You're not so bad when you aren't behind a wheel, SpongeBob. Thanks again. Always glad to lend a hand, Mrs. Puff. I found this golden spatula the other day. Why don't you take it? You've definitely earned it. Wow, Mrs. Puff, I'll cherish it always. May I help you? graveyard of ships somewhere among this haunted mess a fearsome specter waits who dares disturb the flying dutchman it's me spongebob sir I don't need any cookies. But I'm not a shell scout. Look, kid, I'm too disturbed to scare the bejesus out of you right now. Come back later. What's the matter? It's these darn robots. They've thrown me off my own ship, they have. Being thrown off your own ship is like having your pants pulled down in front of casual acquaintances. It's a sad, sad thing. Now those robots have got their own pirate ship, and they're blasting away at each other. Is there anything I can do to make you feel better? Well, now that you mention it, get up to my ship and use the cannons to single-handedly defeat the robot ship. Any questions? Is that adorable hat available in a size 3? No. But if you do this, a golden spatula be your booty. Now get going.
components.
new sponge. the spring breeze. Everything I told you yet? Not exactly. Well, get aloft there and get those robots!
Hey there, Mr. Squidward. Swab the poop deck. Thank yes, hilarious. Don't you have a platinum whisk to get? That's golden spatula. Whatever. There's one up there.
another fantastic day! Say hello to my little bubble friend. Pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Ahoy there, SpongeBob! 
Swab the poop deck. Arr, 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 arr. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, I already did that joke with Squidward, Mr. Krabs. Yes, well, it's a good one, though, eh? Oh, sure is. Here's what you need to do. Destroy all the power generators on the robot ship. Once the power is off, you'll be able to shoot the Dutchman's cannons to destroy the robot ship. Cannon do, Mr. Krabs. Bonsop, Division Control, the launch is a go. like the smell of bubbles in the morning. It smells like victory.
bubble friend. Just met the Spongeinator. Thank you. 
all the launches ago. I tell you, nothing beats creamy hand-churned butter. Yes. Wait just a cotton-picking minute, Butter Boy. We did all that stuff, and you're backing out like a sea weasel. Sea weasel? Ah, oh, them spiking words. If you want this gold thingy so bad, come and get it. You're on. <laughs>
met the Sponginator. Push, push, push.
Ahoy there, SpongeBob! like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. I hate wasting good vittles. chests looking a bit light, boy. Do you think I've got bilge water on the brain? I ain't running a charity here. Come back when you've got enough shiny... Yes, but they don't serve love. Flash! Authorities have confirmed that the robots running amok through Bikini Bottom are indeed coming from the Chum Bucket. Yes, right where you're standing. Plankton, owner of the Chum Bucket, and best known for the creation of robots whose sole purpose is to cause mayhem and destruction, and then stomp on your children. 
and stomp on your children's children! This has been a Bikini Bottom News Flash! Look at that guy! With that big square head and those short shorts! That's the most hideous thing I've ever seen! Wait! That hideous thing looks like me! I always knew SpongeBob would be the death of me! Chug bin jelly beans! A robot SpongeBob! There's definitely something funny going on here. And I don't mean you. Something else funny. Oh! <gasps> London! You're behind all this, aren't you? Yes, yes, it was me all the time! Behold! The Duplicato Tron! I registered the name, so don't even think of ripping me off. With this, I can make a robot copy of anyone. I was going to make an army of loyal robots that would obey my every command. But they're running amok! I, uh, I forgot to set the switch to obey Plankton! Ugh. But now that Daddy's home, I can fix that! What's wrong now? It should be working! It is working! They're obeying me! I knew I shouldn't have made a copy of myself, but I'm just so cute! You've interfered with my plans for the last time! SpongeBob meet SpongeBob! Hi! How do you do? Allow me to introduce my friends, Patrick, Sandy... Enough! Prepare to meet your doom!
Fun Bob, to mission control. The launch is a go. No! You don't are destroying my beautiful bride. We were supposed to get married next week. Did he say married? I'll repair you, baby. Oh, I'm shrieking! No, Badrick. I think the robot is getting bigger! SpongeBob, it just flew into your head! Well, then I'm going to follow him into my head. I mean, into my robot version's head. Which is like my head, but bigger and more metallic. Will you go already? Here I come, robot plankton! This is just getting too weird for me. Nothing like the smell of bubbles in the morning. Smells like victory. Fun Bob, so the launch to go. Pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push.
just met the Spongenator.
you do? What? Oh, um, yeah. All my plans ruined! That does it. I'm becoming a lawyer. You haven't defeated me yet. I still have lots of robots all over Bikini Bottom. I'll summon them all, and then we'll see. Uh-oh. I'll destroy you. You'll destroy me. I'll destroy you. I'll destroy you twice as hard. Oh, yeah? I'll destroy you plus one. Well, I'll destroy you plus infinity. Shut up, you stupid robot. Who are you calling stupid? I went to community college, you oversized coffee grinder. Oh, yeah? I'll show you. Well, Plankton, I hope you learned your lesson. Oh, I certainly did. Next time, I'll get it right. <laughs> Ouch! We won! Who wants to get ice cream? I do! I do! Need I remind you all that there are still robots out there making a mess of Bikini Bottom? Sandy is right. Well, I thought she was a squirrel. I'm being punished. I don't know for what, but I'm being punished. There's still work to be done out there. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy wouldn't stop, and neither will I. We can't rest until Bikini Bottom is safe. Up for a game of SpongeBob? <laughs> <laughs>